Gaming. Today is Monday, March 30th. This is Todd Mitchell, and we are looking at the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. Market opened up considerably higher from Friday's close. This is where we closed Friday. Opened up way up in here. Again, market should continue moving here for the next couple bars here. So I'm looking to uh, take this a little higher here. I'm going to watch looking for the retest of 2069 and a quarter see if we can start breaking through that I'm gonna pause the video and see what we can do here and I'll be back with you shortly all right I'm gonna lighten my load a little bit because I'm showing that the NYSC tick is not following through with the higher prices so I'm gonna take three off and just lighten it a little bit order fill so close out $150 in profit, and I've got two left. I'm going to be a little bit more patient with this. It's just, again, the internals right now aren't. Here, this is what I'm looking at here. All right. This is an NYSE tick right in here. Not really confirming the higher highs in price. We're actually moving lower in the NYSE tick. So we'll see if this disparity continues. I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be back shortly. All right, I am back and the market does continue to move higher, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trail this up to below the current three minute bars low. I'm gonna be at 2068 and three quarters, okay? 2068, let's find that. 68 and three quarters right there. Here we go. Look at this. All right, this market's taken off. So, okay, those internals were wrong. That's why I only took off a portion and not the whole nine yards. Uh, the internals uh, are good for looking under the hood, but they're not always right, that's for sure. Um, as you can see, they were diverging. But again, what does divergence really mean in a, in a strong market, <laughs> right? So you got to ask yourself that. Um, here, let's let's take a so you got higher highs in price, and you'll see that the NYSE tick down here is making lower. Yeah, okay. So we still got it. We still got this going here. I'm having some trouble with my screen now. I can't see the monitor or the chart underneath the one that I'm looking at right now. Hmm, let's see. All right, my screen has frozen up on me, so I can't show you the chart beneath it, nor can I, uh, nor can I move the camera on my screen. See how I'm trying to move behind it? I can't get this off, so I don't know what to do. Um, let's see if I can take this up. Oh, I can take that higher. Okay. Let me do something here. All right. I think you can see that now. Look at this up here. So this is the chart. Okay. Market's continuing to move higher. So look at this big, huge, what I like to call an expanded range vertical bar. My stop was there. Now I'm going to move it up to below this low here. 71 and three quarters to 70, 2071 and a quarter. Okay. Let's take the matrix and move that. Where are we? I'm gonna go up to 71 and a quarter, folks. 71 and a quarter is right there. Look at how that moves up. Boom. We're well, right below this low here. We are currently, if we were to close this position out right now, we would make 750. Okay. But I'm willing to give obviously some back because a trailing stop, you've always got to be willing to give something back to catch a bigger move. So look at this market has not at all been able to try to even fill that gap. It gapped much higher and we've been running ever since. So I'm going to see how much I can catch from this. I'm going to pause the video. My stop is sitting right below this low at 2071 and a quarter. If this particular bar happens to close in the top quarter of the range of this three minute bar, I'm going to go ahead and move the stop even further up to 2072 and a quarter. Lock in another point. So I'm going to pause the video so it's not too long. Let's see how much we can ride to the upside here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move that up to 62 and a quarter now. So I'm moving up one more point. 
right there. Right there. You see that? How that was moved up to below the prior three minute bars low to lock even more profits in. Okay, so we're up about eight and a quarter right now. And it, it market's been open for 18 minutes. So I'm going to watch this, and that's where my stop is. All right, I am back. And let's see the market. The last three minute bar took out the prior bar's high. The prior bar's high is 2,075 and a half to 75 and three quarters. This current bar has taken out the prior bar's low. It's really, it's the first bar of the day that has broken the prior three minute bars low. So this could be a little movement down. We've got our protective stop here. We got one, two, three, four, five. We had six, actually seven consecutive, one, two, three, four, five, seven consecutive higher highs and higher lows, right? That took us up to 951, the first 21 minutes. Let's see if we pull back and get stopped out in here. If, if we're not able to take out this bar's low, okay, if we're not able to take that out, we come back up somehow and take out the high of the day. This may be a screamer to the upside today. We'll see. This might be a real strong day. We'll see. So I, I truly believe here in the next 5 to 30 minutes is very critical, okay, to dictate the rest of the day, okay? Again, if we're able to take out the high of the day without taking out my my trailing stop here at 2072 and a quarter, we could go a lot higher. So let's just be a little bit more patient, okay? All right, we're still sitting tight in this trade. As you can see, the market is just kind of consolidating up in here after this nice run. So we got a big gap. We had seven, seven consecutive three-minute bars that made higher highs and higher lows. We started to consolidate in here. Let's see if we can break up through the high of the day, and then we'll watch it very closely to see if we can break up and close above 2,075 and three quarters. Okay, if we can't, no big deal. We've got our stop down here below this bar okay that's a very very good stop because if it takes that level out we definitely want to exit this trade and then we want to reevaluate things so let's just be patient all right we've just taken out the high of the day so i'm going to go ahead and move my stop up below these lows which are the same right here low 73 and a quarter so we're moving up one point 73 and a quarter was right there Boom, right below this, like what I like to call a ledge, okay? And look at the bar we're on now. We took out the high. It does not look like we're going to close above the high today. Looks like we're going to have a, some type of reversal, a what I like to call a bearish blow-off bar or a candlestick of uh, terminology, a bearish hammer possibly to the downside. We'll see. But my stop is right there. We're currently up 800, and we're locking in probably, I don't know how much we're locking in, but well over $500, which is nice. Okay, it's only, the market's only been open a half hour. Again, our sell stop is a very, very logical place for this type of trade, okay? So I'll be back shortly. All right, as you can see here, I was taken out of my position, and so we're flat right now. And we closed out, as you can see, right in here, $675. It is 10.07. So in the first 37 minutes, we entered about 9.35, about five minutes after the market opened up. We took this up here, and then we trailed it up, and we got stopped out right here. So not a bad trade, $675. Hope you can learn a little something from it. If you got any questions, let me know. Have a fantastic day, and I'll be back with you.